What does the word re'e, re'e ve'onyinu, what does it mean we ask Hashem to see? What are we asking Hashem exactly to see? The Sifsei Chaim explains the following. This re'e is actually a counter appeal to what we call hester panim. We know the Psukim and Sefer Devarim tells us that no hester astir, that HaKadosh Baruch Hashem, so to speak, as hester aster panai hayom, is concealed from the people. What we are asking in this bracha re'evi on yenu is that Hashem should see us, that even though we might have turned away from God, Hashem shouldn't turn away from us. He should see us, the suffering that we have, and allow actually all the challenges, the suffering that we, that we encounter in this world to go into the calculus of how we are in this world, of the punishment and the reward that we're deserving. But the idea of Hester Hanim, Rav Baruch Rabinowitz was a Rav in, in Poland, in, in Brazil, in Eretz Yisrael, was the son-in-law of the Minchas Allahs of the Munkat Shereba, and eventually uh, was supposed to take over, but was very involved in a lot of the Zionist circles in Israel. And he has this beautiful Sefer on Tefillah called the Binas Nivonim. And in this Sefer, he describes what does it mean, Hester Panim? Hester Panim means that we did something that on some level, it's very hard to conceive, Hashem retracts his protection against us, against the normative winds of history, and leaves us open and susceptible to persecutions and whatever else might come our way. And this idea of Hester Panim, he explains, it's not that God removed himself from our lives, but that our experience in certain moments in history where God's presence is concealed and we have so many questions and we have so many concerns and doubts and, and that between what we would expect from Hashem and what we have, it's, it's so great. We perceive God as not there. Either it's that God removes himself or that, that we're so full of, of sphagos, of doubts and of concerns and, and of not knowing that we, we can't believe God, where, where is our Kaddish Baruch? And it's in those moments in our personal lives where we feel that God is concealed. We go through a tragedy. We go through something difficult. We feel that God is distant. God is not in as present in our lives as we, as we want him to be during those moments. This bracha is a bracha that we want Hashem to be part of our experience. We're not saying remove everything. Re'ev Nino is not saying Get rid of it all. As we mentioned earlier in the week, it's not a solution to all our problems. I'm going to have challenges. That's the world. As the Ramchal writes in the Derech Hashem, we're going to have issues. We're going to have challenges. We live in this world. The bracha of Geula is that I want to feel God in that world. The redemption isn't that I want to fix it, but I want to feel and sense and experience Hashem even during these moments. And that's why through all of these brachos that we've just said, da'as, shuba, slicha, ku'ula, I want to feel God's presence in my life. Whatever is going on in my life experience,